On June 6, 2019, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology issued 5G commercial licenses to China Telecom, China Mobile, China Unicom and China Radio and Television. Huawei responded that. Huawei has started 5G research since 2009, and has invested a total of 2 billion US dollars in 5G technology and product research and development. Currently, it has 5G capability from chip, product to system networking. It is also the only one communications enterprise that can provide end-to-end -end 5G network business solutions in the world. Up to now, Huawei has submitted more than 18,000 pieces 5G standard proposals to 3GPP. Number one in the world for the number of standard proposals and approvals. It declares 5G basic patents 2,572 ESTI and continues to rank first in the industry. Its dominant polarization code, uplink and downlink decoupling. Key technologies such as large-scale antennas and new network architectures have become an important part of the 5G international standard. At the same time, Huawei has realized the scale of commercial use of a full range of industry-leading self-developed chips, including the world's first 5G base station chipset, Tiangong, the 5G terminal baseband chip, Baron and the terminal processor chip, Kirin 980. Huawei is also at the forefront of the global 5G commercial pace. As early as February 2018, during the Mobile World Congress, Huawei completed the world's first 5G call and launched the world's first 5G terminal. At present, Huawei has obtained 46 5G commercial contracts in 30 countries around the world, and 5G base stations have shipped more than 100,000 units, ranking first in the world. In order to meet the 5G commercial use in China, Huawei is fully prepared. In the IMT 2020, 5G, pre-commercial system networking verification of the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, Huawei took the lead in completing all test projects of 5G independent networking SA, and non-independent networking NSA, covering all mainstream frequency bands of 5G commercial. For single users, the peak value of the downlink test exceeds 1.8 gigabits per second, the downlink peak of the sub-6 gigahertz single cell exceeds 14.5 gigabits per second, and the one-way delay of the user plane in the IMP service is as low as 2 ms, which constantly refreshes the industry record. At the same time, Huawei's single wireless access network, 4G-5G co-site with coverage, intelligent power supply and other technologies will effectively reduce the 5G construction and operation costs. Since April of last year, Huawei has carried out 5G-scale commercial trials in more than 40 cities in China and three major operators in China, including urban, indoor, highway, subway and other multi-scenarios, all of which have reached commercial standards. Chinese operators are currently among the best in the world in terms of user scale, network capabilities, and overall revenue. Huawei will always adhere to the customer-centric core values continue to increase research and investment in product innovation in the basic field, and do our best to support Chinese operators to build China 5G. The history of China's communication development is a magnificent exploration process. In the past 40 years, China's communications industry has experienced the exploration of 1G blank, 2G follow-up, 3G breakthrough, and 4G synchronization. The progress and achievements are hard won. Now, Facing the key historical opportunities of 5G leading, Huawei will continue to support Chinese operators and cooperate with industry partners to contribute to the 5G industry innovation and create a new engine for 5G digital economy. Pay tribute to Chinese communicators who dare to explore and march forward.